Hello guys, Namaste, welcome to my channel Civil Engineering Nepal. In this uh, video, we are going to solve a numerical problem uh, of Khosla theory. Mainly we use this uh, numerical problems. We use these uh, solutions in BEE Civil in Irrigation Engineering. Um, today we will discuss about Khosla theory and the ideas and tricks to calculate the uplift pressure at key points of the weir. Uh, if you have not subscribed our channel, then please subscribe. Also hit uh, like button and also share this channel or video with your friends or family, relatives who are uh, in need of this video. Also hit the bell notification on so that you will be updated with our video, uh, with our engineering related video. Okay, now we are going to start our topic, Khosla theory. Khosla theory. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay, here is a question where a weir is shown with three number of key. Uh, or we can also say a cutoffs. There are three cutoffs or keys E1, D1, E2, D2, and E3, D3. Here, the water level at the crest is 108.5 MASL, and here is the raft thickness of 1 meter. Here, we have a slope at 5 is to 1, and the raft top at downstream is 103.5. MASL. Here is the depth of the piles 97, 97, and 95 meters. And here is the distance between the piles. Now, our main objective is to calculate key pressure at these three piles. Okay, these at these three piles. Now, we'll start the video to calculate the problems. That is uplift pressure. Okay, for pile one, uh, as shown in the figure before, this is the pile one, this is a pile two, and this is the pile three. Here I have modified the picture to make the ease for the to make the video to make the figure easier and to, to be easily understand. Okay, th this is the pile one and for to the cat now we have to calculate the uplift pressure at this point this point and this point or we can also say e1 d1 and c1 the uplift pressure at e1 is always 100 percent and the uplift pressure at c3 is always zero percent at upstream it is 100 percent and at the end of downstream it is always zero percent now, for pile 1, we have to calculate the uplift pressure at E1, D1, and C1. That is here, here, and here. We don't have to calculate any uplift pressure at this point because it is always 100%. In this pile, we have to calculate key pressure at this point and this point. To calculate this, we need to calculate the value of alpha and lambda to input the value in this uplift pressure formula, which is equals to 1 by pi cos inverse lambda minus 2 upon lambda where the value of lambda is equal to 1 plus under root alpha square plus 1 upon 2 and also again you may be wondering what the value of alpha is uh, for that uh, here I have mentioned the alpha value of alpha is equal to b by d and also in this figure I have noted I have noted or mentioned the value of b and d uh, to make you the to make to make it easier uh, the value of b is the total length of the wear whereas the value of d is uh, depth of pile from raft top that is the value of d is equal to the distance between this and this or we can also say rl of this point also now first to calculate the value of uh, uplift pressure we need the value of lambda and also we need to calculate the value of lambda we need the value of alpha so we will begin with uh, calculating the value of alpha here uh, 
according to the figure if you have noted the value of b is 54 meters and the value of d is 105 upon 97 the rl of 100 rl of raft top is 105 meter whereas the depth of the pile is 97 meters upon the calculation we get the value of alpha at 6.69 and we will substitute this 6.69 value of alpha in the value of lambda here and we will obtain the value of lambda which will again be substituted in this equation okay now putting this alpha we get the value of lambda as 3.991 now we will again substitute this value under this equation to get the uplift pressure now moving to the next slide okay we have also we have already obtained the value of alpha and we have obtained the value of lambda again and was also substituting that value under this equation we get the key pressure at the first point that is a downstream of the pile at this point as uh, this we get on uh, substituting the value of a lambda uh, 1 by pi cos inverse uh, 3.991 upon minus 2 upon 3.991 we get the value as 0 0.33 or 33.74 this is the first key pressure to calculate the second key pressure second key pressure at second point we will only add the numerator by one we will only add the numerator by one and we will get the new formula to calculate the key pressure at second point you can also may you, you may find that in books of askegar bc punya you may get the value as lambda minus one upon lambda but you to make you easier to make it easily rememberable you can only add the numerator by one then you will get the second formula to calculate the key pressure upon the substitution of the value of lambda in this equation that is for the second point we get the value as 23.28 percent now okay now i will tell you is it really possible uh, to dec to decrease the uplift pressure from 100 percent to directly to 33 33.74 or 23 percent is it is not uh, really applicable right because 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 the key pressure will at this point is 100 percent and reducing the uplift pressure directly to 33 and 23 percent is, is really not applicable it might be possible under at this point this point or maybe this point uh, but it is really not applicable so we will uh, so the key pressure at 33.74 and 23.28 at first second points really does not make sense actually so we will now subtract this value by so with 100 and we'll get the exact key pressure at those two points that is we will deduct 33.74 with 100 and 23.28 by uh, 100 again and we will get the first key pressure at as 66.15 percent and second key pressure by 76.12 percent now we will arrange these two key pressure in descending orders now arranging the key pressure in descending order uh, that is one first key pressure will always be equal to 100 percent second is 76.12 and third is 66.15 these two is computed and we will arrange this two point in descending order now the upon the arrangement of this value in descending order the first key pressure that is 100 percent is equal to e1 the second one will be equal to d1 and the third one will equal to c1 in this way we can calculate the cal uh, calculate the value of key pressure at these points at these points now corrections corrections on this key pressure will be required because these key pressures are always affected by slope uh, mutual interfering interference of these piles interference of these piles and this thickness of raft uh, and thickness of ref will always be uh, affecting the value of key pressure now if under the pile uh, there will always be negative correction on left hand side and always be positive correction on right hand side that is correction will always be negative on e1 e2 and e3 whereas correction will always be positive 
under C1, C2, and C3. And no correction will be ever required on D1, D2, and D3 points. And also, I would like to tell you, no correction will, will be required on 100% and 0% key points. That is at E1 and e C3, no any corrections will be required. The types of correction we will performing in this uh, key points are thickness correction, interference correction, and slope correction. Slope correction will only be required if the slope of raft starts or ends beside the pile. That is, in this pile only, we will have to compute the slope correction because uh, here is the slope, uh, slope near to this pile. So, we will calculate the slope correction. The correction calculation of this key pressures of these piles will be uploaded in the next video. Comment down below if you need this corrections as a part two of this video now i would like to again tell you to like subscribe share and turn on the bell notification on for this channel so that we get motivated and we'll keep and we'll be keep updating you guys regarding this stuffs these videos okay Similarly, we have calculated the key pressure for this pile 1 and now we will be required to calculate the key pressure at pile 2 that is at this point, this point and this point. Now the calculation formula for key pressure, uh, the basic formula, I, will, I would like to say basic formula because there will be next other two formula also. The basic formula is 1, one by pi cos inverse. Uh, lambda 1 plus 1 of lambda where the value of lambda will be equal to root under alpha 1 square plus 1 plus under root alpha alpha 2 square plus 1 and the value of lambda 1 will be equal to lambda the only difference is this uh, this sign uh, the positive signs will be turned turned into negative sign and here is the formula to calculate the value of lambda 1 and lambda now to calculate the value of alpha 1 and alpha 2 we have the equation alpha 1 equals to b1 upon d and alpha 2 equals to b2 upon d where b1 is equal to the distance between that pile that is pile 2 and pile 1 whereas b2 is equal to that pile that is pile 2 and pile 3 or we can also say that this b1 or b2 is equal to the distance between the interfering piles of that pile that is interfering piles for pile 2 is pile 1 and pile 3 so b1 is equal to distance between pile 1 and pile 2 whereas b2 is equal to distance between pile 2 and pile 3 and d is the depth of uh, depth of the pile from top of the raft now Upon substitution of this value b1 upon d, we get the value alpha 1 as 2 and substituting the value of b2 upon d, we get the alpha 2 as 4.75. You can also refer the question video. Uh, I mean uh, that question I have uploaded in the, I have shown you in the beginning of the video. Now, after obtaining the value of alpha 1 and alpha 2 as 2 and 4.75, We'll substitute this alpha 1 and alpha 2 to get the value of lambda and lambda 1. Upon substitution, we get the value of lambda as 3.935 and the value of lambda 1 as minus 1.43. Now we will substitute this value under this equation. This is the main formula to calculate the key pressure, uh, uh, uplift pressure at key points. Now, upon substitution, we get the first first key pressure uh, uh, which is equal to 1 by 1 by pi cos inverse lambda 1 plus 1 upon lambda which is equals to 53.4 percent now uh, the second form we, we obtain the second formula by so and in previously we have we added the numerator by 1 now we will subtract the numer numerator by 1 that is if we subtract the numerator by 1 we will get the formula to calculate the key pressure at second point of that pi now here lambda 1 plus 1 we will subtract this by minus 1 then we will get the formula to calculate the key pressure at second point that is 
upon substituting substitution of the value in this equation we get 61.8 percent if you refer in the uh, various irrigation books then you will get the formula as lambda 1 upon lambda 1 which is because the numerator is subtracted by 1 and this plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled each other will be cancelled out by each other so this is the basic formula and you just need to subtract the numerator by 1 and you will get the formula to calculate the next key pressure upon substitution in this equation we get the value as 61.8 or 8 percent and to again uh, obtain the pressure uplift pressure at the third point uh, or next point we will again subtract the numerator by 1 that is lambda 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 lambda 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus 1 if you see in books you will get the value uh, you will get the formula as lambda 1 minus 1 upon lambda which is because these two plus 1 and minus 1 will be cancelled out by each other the basic formula you have to remember is this and if you will remember you will subtract the numerator by, by by minus 1 two times or you then you will get the formula to calculate the key pressure in previous pile we added the numerator by one and in next we will next the key we will subtract the numerator by one to get the key pressure upon substitution we get the uh, first uplift pressure as 53 percent 61 percent and 71.23 percent respectively now as 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 in previous manner we will arrange the key pressure in descending order again as computed we have obtained the highest value at 71.23 percent and second uh, and the second one is 61.88 percent and the third one is 53.4 percent upon arrangement of this order now we will uh, know that the highest point because the point uh, because uh, because this point is 100 percent and the key pressure will be gradually decreasing with in this direction so the highest Key pressure will be at E2 and then on D2 and then on C2. Now 71.23% uh, percentage of key pressure will be applied to E2 and 61.88 at D2 and 53.4% at C2. Now we will have to apply corrections. Uh, here we will have to apply thickness correction, interference correction of these two piles and then slope correction slope correction but the calculation of this correction will be uploaded in the next video please comment also subscribe and like if you need the correction calculate correction calculations of these piles in the next video okay guys uh, this was it because i will not be doing the calc doing the uplift pressure calculation at these points because the process to calculate the uplift pressure at this uh, at the third third pile is exactly same as the uplift pressure calculation process as of pile one. So please brainstorm it. So please brainstorm it by yourself. The process is same. The calculation process is same to the pile one. If you have any confusion regarding the calculation, please comment down below. Thank you very much. Lastly, I will again like to tell you, please subscribe the channel and please share the channel or the video to the needy ones. Thank you guys. This was it. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.